Hi, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. Today we're going to talk about filtering the pivot table that we sorted in our last session. So what we have here is the same data that we left off with when we were talking about sorting these new consults. We still have 2,541 new consults and what we want to understand today is where did those new consults come from? Let's drill down a little bit more and get a little more specific. And the way to do that is to filter. So what I'm going to do, start with is I'm going to click up here on this column labels drop down menu and I'm going to see that rather than selecting all I'm just going to select the central location and you see now I'm only looking at my central clinic location and I've got 1084 of my consults come from there and that's what we're going to analyze. Now that I'm only looking at central it doesn't make sense to leave this in the columns because I've just got this, the central and the total. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pull the, the location up to this header area and notice that I've got a normal drop down arrow there and there and here I have a filter icon and what that's telling me is hey Excel's filtering this data and here's the filter it's the central location if you did a multiple like say the central and the west what Excel's going to do is Excel's going to say nah, I'm not going to list them all I'm just going to put multiple items and then if you hover over it with the mouse Excel will tell you that that's what you have filtered there. Then the next thing we want to do is now that we know that we've got the central location, let's see, here's my big referring physicians, which of my physicians are they sending to? So we're going to come over to the doctor area and we're going to say, all right, here's my referring physicians and I can easily say that Dr. Degas at 330 is seeing the most new patients in the central location. And if I want to understand more about that, the next thing to do is to come here and say I'm only going to look at Dr. Degas. So now I'm only looking at Dr. Degas and again if I want to I can take the doctor field, I can pull it over here next to location and what Excel tells me is if you're only looking at Central and you're only looking at Dr. Degas very easy to tell that where those central location referrals are coming from that came to Dr. Degas. Again, if you wanted to pick three referring physicians, it's easy to do. You can click those three and it says multiple items and there they are. And if you want to see the three physicians, you can drag it back and it will show you the detail of those three. So it's easy to go back and forth between the filter and the actual columns to see the detail of these. And then if we come back and we just come back to see Dr. Degas, it's fairly straightforward to see back and forth adding and taking away physicians. So let's again assume that I want to leave that alone and I can come over here and I can select instead of selecting all I can pick say five or six physicians off the list and again from these key physicians referring to Dr. Degas at the central location, it's very easy for Excel to look and filter what you have. And then again, if you look and hover over that filter, Excel will tell you that your manual filters are referring physician and we've got an auto sort set up there. And then if you bring this information back, it's very easy to hover over and see what you're filtering. Last thing I want to show you on this setting is if you have the pivot table up and you get this options menu it's very easy to clear filters and now we're back to where we started all the filters up here and here are off and we're, and we're back to the 2541 consoles we started with I hope that's a helpful look at basic filtering in Excel pivot tables we'll see you next time and talk more about basic ways to use pivot tables and thanks for watching